Okay, now we're gonna look at something that I call a type three integration by parts problem. So that is the integral of some function that involves an inverse of a more familiar function. So for example, the log of x or the inverse tangent, arc tangent, the inverse sine, arc sine, or something of that sort. So the example that we'll look at is x times the natural log of x dx. And the trick for all of these are is we want to use the fact that we know the derivative of these inverse functions very well in order to apply that to integration by parts and find the antiderivative of things involving these functions. So that being said, we want to let this be u because we know the derivative of the natural log of x, but finding the antiderivative may be tricky, and that means What's left, we let that be dv. So let's see what we get from there. So we have u equal the natural log of x. That makes du equal one over x dx. And then we have dv equals x dx. So that makes v equal one half x squared. And that's our setup for this integration by parts. And if you recall, the general formula for integration by parts is u dv equals u times v minus the antiderivative of v du. So that's what we'll be doing with our particular problem. Okay, great. So that gives us this is equal to u times v. So we have one half x squared natural log of x good, minus the integral of v du, so we have v du, so notice we have x squared over x, that'll cancel, we'll get one half x dx, good, and now we're left with a pretty simple antiderivative, so that leaves us with one half x squared natural log of x, good, minus one quarter x squared plus a constant. And that's our final answer.